Hello, wonderful humans. My friend Steve Rex wanted to come in and ask some questions, so I thought maybe you'd want to join us for it. Hi, Steve. Hi, Mr. Michael. Um, here's my question. I have a first question. It's this. What is the coronavirus? And what is, um, COVID-19? What are those things? Oh, well, um, great question. COVID-19 is a new version of the coronavirus. So the coronavirus has been around for a really long time. And the COVID-19 is the new version. They found it in 2019, and that's why they call it COVID-19. Okay? Oh, yep. I guess that makes sense. <laughs> okay, uh, my next question is, how do people catch it? Oh, yes. It is a very catchy disease. Now, you have to catch it from someone who already has it, and one way is if they sneeze, a chew or cough, uh, uh, and they don't cover their mouth with their sleeve. Then that could come in and the water droplets would fly around and you might get that in, in your eye, you might breathe it into your mouth, you might breathe it into your nose, or it might be on a surface and you would touch that surface with your hand and then you would touch your face. That's why everyone's saying to wash your hands a lot. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. That's also why they're telling you not to touch your face. Well, I don't have that problem. <laughs> That's true, Steve. That's true. Um, you had another question, right? Yeah. If I go outside, will I get it? Everyone keeps telling me to stay inside, so I, I was worried that if I went outside, I'd catch it. Well, no. No. It's not just outside everywhere you go is COVID-19. No, it's more on a surface or in the air with the water droplets if someone is near you and they're coughing around you or if you touch the surface and then touch your face. So no, going outside is, is safe. You can go look at your flowers or it just snowed here today so you can go build a snowman or, or listen to the birds because there's lots of spring birds singing out there. Okay. Um, Mr. Michael, why can't I play with my friends? Why can't I, why can't I go to school and go to the playground? I want to play. <sighs> yeah, I do too, Steve. I'm missing some really fun times with my friends and we like to run and play all together, but uh, we can't right now because we're practicing social distancing. What is that? What's social distancing? Well, imagine that, that COVID-19 is the tagger, right? And it's tagging people and then they're it, right? So then everybody out there is, is, getting, is getting tagged. But if you're staying home and you're staying apart from, your other peop uh, from other people, it's almost like you're on base and nobody else can tag you. Um, and what's, what's really tricky about this disease is you might not know that you're a tagger and you're out there and your COVID-19 is tagging people and you don't even know. Oh, because you're not showing symptoms for a few days and then you've gotten a lot of people um, sick and you didn't mean to. Oh, that's not fun. No, buddy, it's not fun. It's not fun at all. Well, well, can I do anything to help my grown-up? Yeah, buddy, yeah, you can definitely do things to help your grown-up. You can make sure you wash your hands. You can make sure you don't touch your face. Um, you can make sure that you're, uh, you're covering your cough like this. So if you cough, you want to cough right into your sleeve <coughs> or into your shoulder. <coughs> you don't really want to cough right on your hand and you don't want to cough out into the world. Yeah, that would be kind of yucky. Right? Right, you wouldn't want to cough on someone's face. No, I wouldn't like that. No, I, I wouldn't like that either, Steve. I wouldn't like that either. Oh, Mr. Michael, I have a cat. Okay, that's that's awesome, Steve. Thanks for sharing. I love cats. Oh, no, I was wondering if my cat could get it. Oh, yeah, 
Um, great question. The answer to that is no, I don't believe so. There, there doesn't seem to be any evidence that our pets can be carriers or can contract the, the disease. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, thanks. Mr. Michael, um, if I get it, do I have to go to the hospital? Oh, Steve. Uh, most likely not. It seems that children, when they get the COVID-19 virus, that they, uh, their symptoms are, are mild, are pretty mild. What is, what is mild? Oh, mild is, is not as strong. So if you have salsa, and it's spicy salsa, ooh, hot, 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 um, but mild salsa is not as spicy, so it's not as strong. Ooh. So I'm mild salsa? Yeah, yeah, you can be mild salsa, Steve. Okay. Oh, here's something I was wondering. I know we're supposed to stay six feet apart, but can I hug my grown-up? Yeah, Steve, you can hug your grown-up. Good. Sometimes they may want to take a shower or wash their clothing before they give you a hug if they're a healthcare provider. So you may want to give them um, just a minute when they get home. I know when I get home, because I work with a lot of little kids, I want to take off what I'm wearing and throw it in the laundry and take a shower and then give my kids the biggest, giantest hugs. Oh, that makes sense. Mr. Michael, I'm, I'm feeling scared. I didn't mean to feel scared. I wanted to feel brave, but right now I feel scared. Steve, you are absolutely allowed to feel any way that you feel. It's important for you to feel those feelings. And I want you to notice them when they come up. That's, that's, that's fine. That's just fine. But do remember that out there in the world, there are doctors and nurses and scientists and, and nursing assistants and, and all types of people who are, who are looking out for us and, and trying to make sure that you're safe and that everyone is safe. That's that's what they're doing out there. So think about the people who are helping. Mr. Rogers always says, in times like this, we have to look for the helpers. So do you think you can look for the helpers? Yeah, I do. Great. Mr. Michael, can I have a hug? Yeah, Steve. Yeah, dinosaur hug? All right, buddy, high five? Okay.